Hey everyone and welcome to this quick guide of how the new leaf mechanic works in Path of Exile Sentinel. Right, so about the new league mechanic. So there are three types of sentinels. You get the stalker sentinels, pandemonium and apex sentinels. I also have some currencies. So I don't have any more of the first culminating currencies, but the second one, for example, a higher chance of the same base type. So you get different types. So you get cobalt or brimstone or bronze or, you know, um, so different different ones do different things. So they basically make the monster stronger and then you get more XP and items. Just quickly having a look at my links that I've done so far. I personally focused on just getting everything set up so I can have three um, sentinels equipped. So for example, if I were to take out this I wouldn't have been able to use this cobalt one anymore. So they work on a system where you can equip and unequip them at will. Yeah, you can read through all of them. All of these are useful in some way. Um, so I would definitely recommend reading through them and deciding which ones you like or which ones you would need for your build. This is pretty easy to manipulate. So if I see as I, as I unclick or click things, I just get random other stuff for free. Or that, you know, going back there. It's pretty easy to manipulate, so deciding on what you want to use. My favorite one is the just normal raid one, the one you start off with. This is the brimstone one. So in the brimstone one, it tags monsters one by one, which makes it pretty easy to, to use in various situations as you go through zones. Okay, that just happened. My opinion is that the Apex Sentinels, they are the worst ones. They make bosses so, so much harder. In relation to how much harder they make the stuff, I do not believe it's worth using this at all. So I would actually advise just disconnecting this, and then you can obviously get a lot more other stuff. They may buff this or change this in the future, or it might become more viable during maps when your build does insane damage. But for now, especially early on, this is not worth it. This is just sad. Now I know what you're thinking. This build is ZDPS. <laughs> it is in fact not really zero damage. I just put this in here. This is just after when I fight that caught that beast tag by the Apex Sentinel, just to show you my damage. This is the blue sentinel, the pandemonious one. For well, this one you just gather up a screen full of enemies or if you have enough density you just click it and it tags everything on the screen and this is the results of that of mine. I have these two. I can combine. Here we get. Oh, an extra one. Character gains endurance charges for 15 seconds on employment. That's cool. This is how it looks when you level on your sentinel tree. Now, something I did notice is the only reason early on to use these is to start gaining experience. Now, you gain experience by simply using these um, using the sentinels on packs of mobs and then when you kill those packs of mobs uh, you'll gain power units and as you your power units use reaches max you will level up and it will you'll be able to allocate another beam or it will automatically allocate another beam on your tree at level 58 i'm at the uh, act 7 just about the end of act 7 so for me this was very worth it uh, from X6, maybe X5 onward, they started to get some realistic rewards on it. 
some of the things that are interesting that I did get from it is I dropped three exotic coins, dropped some fossils, some interesting things I wasn't expecting to get from it. Skill gems of quality, which you can obviously use to bend a recipe and get uh, gem cutter prisms. Uh, obviously the major nodes here, as you could see, the, there's four major ones. They are the strongest. Panamonius can be deployed an additional time. I would definitely go for this when I start mapping. Because, like I said, that this touches the whole screen. So being able to use it twice per map will be very useful. Rewards are more likely to be less common. It's definitely something I would go towards as well. As stalkers do not empower normal rarity monsters. I mean... Depending on how juiced your maps get, this might be a good one to take as well. But when you're just leveling and just early maps, this is probably not going to be worth taking. Apex Sentinels do not empower rare enemies. Apex Sentinels cross increase rewards. I would probably go towards this one. Um, just to make them worth using on uniques. But like I said, in my experience, I've used them on a lot of the act bosses. I've used them on a lot of rares, and I've not once get, got anything that's worth mentioning. I have got stuff, a lot of chaos, and other things from using these two on just normal magic or, or rare monsters. So the Apex Sentinels aren't the only ones that can be used on rare monsters. You can actually use the other two on them as well. Uh, that's just one that's exclusive for them. So I don't really see the point in using these at all, especially since they make them in relation to what you get so much more harder so i would use one of these for leveling anyway thanks for watching i hope it helps you if it did leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll be making more path of exile content i'll also maybe make a build diary for my league starter uh, ignite flame blast it's a lot of fun especially with these new sentinels it gives you a little bit of delay for it to just touch all of them before you blow them up a lot of fun Anyway, I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one.